Thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped gland located in the neck just below the Adam's apple. Thyroid cancer occurs when abdominal cells begin multiplying rapidly in the thyroid and form a tumor. According to the National Cancer Institute, more than 56,000 new cases of thyroid cancer are reported in the U.S. each year. Females are more likely to have thyroid cancer than men at a ratio of 3 to 1. Though it can affect persons from any age group, thyroid cancer is more commonly seen after age 30 and its aggression increases with advancing age. As per the closest medical estimate, approximately 1.2% of all men and women will be diagnosed with thyroid cancer during their lifetime. There are four main types of thyroid cancer, and some of them are more common than the others. These four types are papillary, follicular, medullary, and anaplastic thyroid cancers. Of these, papillary and follicular varieties are the predominant ones, accounting to about 95% of all thyroid cancers. Thyroid cancer is associated with a number of inherited conditions, but the exact cause is not yet known. Certain defects in a person's DNA can cause thyroid cells to become cancerous. Thyroid cancer frequently presents without any symptom. When present, the most common symptom is a lump in the neck, sometimes growing quickly. Less commonly, patients may experience hoarseness or change in voice, trouble swallowing, trouble breathing, a persistent cough, and swollen glands in the neck. Symptoms of pain are uncommon except in the rarer of thyroid cancers, and when present, the pain is usually localized to the neck, jaw, or ear. Although as many as 75% of the population suffers with thyroid nodules, fewer than 1% of all thyroid nodules are cancerous. Thyroid nodules are most commonly identified by routine physical examination or imaging studies, such as X-ray and MRI study. Biopsy of thyroid gland lump is the gold standard investigation to diagnose thyroid cancer. Most thyroid cancers are very curable, especially if identified early. In fact, the most prevalent varieties of thyroid cancers are also the most treatable ones. In the patients younger than 50 years of age, both papillary and follicular cancers are associated with more than 98% cure rate if treated timely and appropriately. If the cancer can't be cured completely, the treatment goal is to remove the largest possible amount of cancer and to keep it from growing, spreading, or returning for as long as possible. Surgery is the mainstay of treatment in nearly every case of thyroid cancer, except for some anaplastic ones. In lobectomy, the lobe of thyroid gland containing the cancer is removed, usually along with the isthmus. In some cases, the entire thyroid gland is removed, or nearly all of the gland, or most of the gland. Radioactive iodine therapy can be used to destroy any thyroid tissue not removed by surgery, or to treat some types that have spread to lymph nodes and other parts of the body. Radioactive iodine therapy drastically improves the survival rate of patients with papillary or follicular thyroid cancer that has spread to the neck or other body parts. Taking daily pills of thyroid hormone can help stop remaining cancer cells from growing. It may also help prevent some thyroid cancers from returning. External beam radiation therapy uses high energy rays to destroy thyroid cancer cells or slow their growth. Chemotherapy uses anti-cancer drugs and is seldom helpful for most types of thyroid cancer. Usually, it is combined with external beam radiation therapy for anaplastic thyroid cancer. Targeted therapy for thyroid cancer uses newer drugs that more precisely identify and attack cancer cells. For more information about thyroid cancer, list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.